Hello, hi, welcome to the video. This is my first devlog for my RPG Maker MV game called Ghost Spirit. Um, Ghost Spirit used to be a comic. I tried to make it a comic and it's gone through many iterations and gone through many different versions. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I think I'm gonna make it a game. I came up with an excellent concept and it means a lot to me and I hope that it can mean a lot to other people. So I thought that I might as well start sharing some progress. I started this um, project on September 5th and currently it is September 26th, um, the day of recording this, and I have pretty much gotten a prototype done that I've sent to some of my friends and sent to some people. Um, and I'm very proud of when I play through it and such. It is very fun, in my opinion, of course. It's my game, so... Um, but the whole story is about... The overall message is about fighting your negativities and fighting just getting through those tough times. It's a very personal thing for me, um, being that I deal with a lot of negative thoughts and self-doubt and a lot of other things um, that many other people uh, deal with too. So I thought maybe what if you fought these things visually, maybe that'll help, like have a cathartic moment of, oh hey, I can get through this kind of thing. Um, so I'm very proud, like I said, I'm very proud of what I have so far. Um, if I just zoom out a bit, <laughs> this is the main town so far. Um, I've got a few things, I got, I have a few things to edit, fix, add, you know, different maps to connect to the inside of the houses and such. Um, the first level is the hollow forest, so I have this forest level that I need to expand on. Um, I'm pretty proud of what I have so far of it though, so we're good there. I, like I said, I just need to expand on it more, make it a little bit bigger, um, so it's not- so it has more to explore and isn't too, too linear. Like right now, the forest is just like three sections and a little town. Um, so that needs to be expanded on. Um, the second level that I started working on today is the Twilight Desert. As you can see, it is very purple. Um, I recolored the, some RTP, some of the base assets, um, and I also am using, you know, things that I've found, some res free resources, um, of course I'm crediting the people who made them, I have a credits page for the game, and I've been, like, jotting notes of, like, what they did and stuff, but... The goal would be to do most of the art assets myself, being that I am an artist and such. Um, so... Yeah. <laughs> I, I just- that's the goal. The goal is to do m as much as I can myself but still allowing myself to use resources from other people um, as long as it applies with their rules, of course. Um, so yeah, I've been working on the- uh, today I just started working on the Twilight Desert. Um, and it's very purple and the reason why is because I always think of 
the time of like that dusky twilight where there's those purples blues and pinks and stuff like that and i'm like what if it was a desert that was always purple blues and pinks and always nighttime and things like that so it has like that kind of calm yet you know mysterious feeling um the oasis of tears is called this because I associate the dusk twilight hours with when my brain starts going off on me and saying, hey, remember all this self-doubt you have and all this other not cool things and so, you know, fighting you, the boss of this temple is self-doubt itself. Um, and sometimes those thoughts can get to a point where you just are really sad and you feel like you have to cry therefore um the oasis of tears and self-doubt is a water temple um for the hollow forest um i made the boss survival mode like the psychological survival mode where you are always on edge you feel like you need to plan everything out and have everything go perfectly or else you're gonna just have a major freak out or like you know you just don't feel safe or anything like that it's more of a trauma response um and so i when i think of that i think of like you know an archer or like someone who like a forest dweller elf archer person druid i don't know um who is always on edge and is good with like the plants and like the wind element because you can also take survival as the outdoors um so that's kind of why i have the forest as survival mode so we got got her still got to do some um you know art right now i'm using akashix um an akashix boss for survival um but if i go to enemies we can see like how i have where is survival mode? Right now I have this Ak Akashix character as survival mode. Um, I need to fix some of the enemy drop tags because those are from a different plugin and I found a, another a Yanfly plugin um, for extra enemy drops and things like that. So I need to go through and like redo a lot of um, things like this just just some small fixes of course um self-doubt this is a placeholder the the um the character or the enemy here was called suffering soul so i'm like you know what that'll be the placeholder for now um yeah i just have a lot of placeholder for the bosses and then i've got some things that I've done myself, like this slime guy and this weird creature thing. <laughs> um, so we got those. I have to fix, not fix, replace assets. Like, um, these are just made with the character generator, Cynthia, Lauren, and Kurt. Um, but I need to, I'm, I drew the face for Evan. I use Hidden One's uh, Tall Sprite base for the character. And Hidden One also has a um, side view battler for, to match the tall character. So I need to do that. Um, I need to do the tall walking sprite for Lou, same thing with the battler, and Jax, I just need to do the battler. Um, so the plan for today is to actually 
do some art, work on like Lou's character sprite, um, work on the desert more, and work on like more sprites and characters and things like that. So, gotta fix the name here, but so here's a sneak peek of a character you'll meet in the desert. Um, his house and here's a Selene's house. Selene is a you know witch, you know, ma magician. No, oh, yeah, a witch. Um, and her role will be able to teach you skills because um, I have the skill teach or whatever from Yanfly and the skill equip from Yanfly and um, other things that go with the skills and stuff from Yanfly. Um, so she will, you, because I also have the job points plugin and that I replaced job points because I'm like, eh, I don't like the sound of job points. This isn't a job. So I called them tarot, um, not tarot points, just tarot. Um, and it's just supposed to be like, you know, this power or this little force or some sort of, I guess, points that you earn so that you can learn new skills from Celine and stuff like that. As you can see, um, I use the magic interior stuff from, I think it's cattle call cattle call cattle club or cattle call cattle call um they're from cattle call i found that on steam found that tile found this tile set on steam um for free i th i believe it was free yeah um but i really like this tile set because it's just got a lot of cool neat magic-y spooky fun things and it comes very much in handy, um, in my opinion, for some of my characters and settings and stuff like that. So, this is Celine's house. You got some tarot cards here, and you'll, she'll probably stand either here or here, one of these two spaces. And you can talk to her if you go around here. You can, like, talk to her normally. If you talk to the desk in front of her, there'll be an event, um, where... It'll, you can, it'll pull up the scene where you can buy your skills and equip your skills and things like that. Um, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, Alistair is a gargoyle who was sucked because there's a, <laughs> it's hard to explain. No, no, it's not hard to explain. Uh, Alistair is a character who you'll meet in the desert and you will he will invite you will invite him back come to come back to the town because he used to live there anyway um, he got stuck in the negative which is the alternate dimension and he's been living there for years and time doesn't pass or time doesn't go by as in a way so he hasn't age plus he just doesn't age in general <laughs> he that's just his character quirk i guess i don't know how to explain it um but he will sell you the different currencies um that you will gather throughout the game um as you go to each section or to each village for example the bone elves you will find bones or the enemies will drop bones and you can use those bones in the shop to trade for items, to trade for weapons, you know, etc, etc. Um, Twilight Angels, I need to work on their town, of course, as you can see it is empty. But the Twilight Desert will have the Twilight Angels and they will use a currency called Constellation, Constellation Coins. So, because I'm like, oh yeah, Twilight Stars, you know, you get me. Um, so Alistair will, once invited back to town, 
he will sell you um, the currencies and stuff like that. Viv. I need to fix Viv's sprite. Um, Viv is like your kind of... Not exactly your options, but your extras. Viv is your extras menu. Um, Viv... You know, I'm just like, oh yeah, she's the, ex the, the extra menu because they have a TV for a head and normally you think options, you think computers and things like that. So you can see your achievements, you can see the monster encyclopedia book, um, you can save, of course, um, and then you can use this computer suction station over here to as your normal shop for coin and then there's going to be a special gotcha um kind of thingy um over here at this thing that will give you just fun extra items like paint brushes and um like you know data type weapons um the paintbrushes come from White Dragon on the uh, RPG Maker forums. Um, but yeah, and then of course Viv's got a cat because I love cats. Cats are just great. I have a cat. I love her so much. Is she on my bed? I don't know. She's probably- she's around somewhere. Anyway. Um, so that is a l pretty much what I have so far um but yeah I'm just working on the desert right now and working on some art and but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this little video of you know introducing this video game that I am creating which is like a dream of mine and to see it come together like this is just pure amazing I'm just in awe and I'm so proud of myself and it's just an amazing cool thing um but yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you would like to see more give it a like um if you have any questions or suggestions or comments you know what to do in the comment section and um if you also want to stay updated because i do want to make more of these videos uh, feel free to subscribe it's free and it really helps me out yeah <laughs> thank you goodbye